Hey, so I am really, I've had it with my stupid freaking webcam, <laughs> I mean my software, not my webcam. I've had it with my software, it's really annoying. So I'm just going to make a video using my camera. But I need to find a spot so it's going to like... Anyways, how's this lighting? Is it okay? Or is it like too, um, is it too dark? <laughs> or is it cool that way? Anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm going to talk. I know I, I don't really prefer to do vlogging videos using my phone, but like, like you would see from the next, you know, the other video using my software, it really sucks. Welcome to my channel. If you happen to know me and somehow you just found my YouTube channel, well, here it is. And here I am exposed and completely like vulnerable <laughs> because I put myself out there and I put thoughts and everything and let me tell you it is quite like embarrassing and it's quite cringe and it's just quite pathetic but um you know whatever I've had this channel for a while and I just have fun like sometimes this is what I like to do I just like to sit home drink some beer make some videos <laughs> like for YouTube and just like edit them and like hang out and you guys are hanging out with me right now if you don't watch the other video my frustrations I'm gonna say really quickly that I am disabled from AdSense so I'm not making money I'm not making money even though I got approved for monetization I'm not making any money off YouTube well because um, because I'm disabled from AdSense, you know? So, it says drink Coca-Cola. But yeah. So that's that. So I'm not... And if I, you know... Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, what do people do that got disabled from it? You know, like... And I tried to email them and do a claim and they just deny it. Like, you know, but I would... Even if it's like $30, $20 a month, it's something, you know? They're going to make money off of me and ads that happen to be put on my videos. And, you know, so I'm not going to make any of the money. They already, I already made like 30 bucks and they kept it. <laughs> so, like, I don't know, like, what to do, you know? Because I would like to get paid with the ads. Like, what if my channel gets all big and, like, all that, you know? <laughs> then, like, I have to just throw any... No, it's not going to. Do you see? I only get a few, couple of views anyways. And I was saying these things in my... I'm afraid this cat is going to jump up and knock everything over. Um, I already said this stuff in the other video, so I don't want to repeat myself. But, you know, another thing that's kind of, like, embarrassing, like... I really... I was talking about being a targeted individual, like, for a while. Like, but you know what? I... I put myself out there, and I have for a long time. What are you doing, cat? Like, I have seriously put myself on out on the internet, like, for years, okay? And, uh, yeah, I'm a total, like, awkward cringe. Like, I really am, you know? And, like, I say things and I do things, and, like, people are going to find my YouTube channel. Like, what are people I work with? That would be extremely, like, like, embarrassing, okay? And, like, I don't, <laughs> like... I feel like sometimes I go out and people are deliberately trying to like get on my video <laughs> like because it's up there on YouTube and you know important people are watching my channel just kidding I don't know who's watching my channel you are and you're important so thank you thank you thank you yeah yeah no but for real like I don't know you know like I don't know all I know is I'm an idiot that does this and I'm not even getting paid for it I was thinking about ma making a Patreon channel, or I do have a Patreon, but another one just for basic stuff. If anybody wants to donate, um, I can make better content. And if anybody would like to get me, order me up a nice video vlogging camera, that would be A-OK. -okay. So anyways, let's talk about the subjects I didn't talk about, because I am repeating myself. <clears throat> and I'm going to put all the edits of me in my frustration just so you can feel my frustration over that mini cam debacle like it's terrible like that um 
that that um software just sucks okay it really does so this weekend like see I am chilling at home and I kind of like to do this it's a little bit late but it's 8 15 definitely the summer it's sad because it's dark and you know if we were up in way north Canada it would still be light out but it's really sad to feel the fall coming because I really enjoyed like swimming and just being summery <sighs> but the fall is nice I do like the fall anyways so yeah this weekend was fun I hung out with Sherry we hung out in downtown Easton we went to see a free comedy show Saturday we went back to what did we do what did I do Saturday went back out to Easton you know I took video footage so um, I will edit that all together oh a motorcycle who's motorcycle that is that Lou does Louie have a motorcycle you can take this for a freaking motorcycle ride I don't know um, but yeah I felt like I was all loud and that like he heard me say that oops sorry But I'm just weird, you know? I'm weird. So whatever, take it as whatever, you know? Um, yeah. Sarah messaged me. She wanted me to go to her friend's house and hang out with her, but it's late and I actually am tired. And let me tell you, Saturday night, yeah, that's right, me and, that's right, Saturday night. I got out Saturday at like early, like at 1.45, which is nice. And I wanted to, I went home, took a nap, and like I was like, you know what, tonight is my night. I'm gonna get dressed up. Like I said, I don't know what's going on with Mike, but I've been going out and I've been like trying to meet like like guys, like cute guys, you know, like guys that are hot and like I find attractive. It's hard for me. And I, I said that in my last video too. But it's fun sometimes when you go out and just talk to, you know, try to find somebody, right? Because like Mike is like, I don't know, just not really working with him. Um, I think I need another beer. I don't want to be like hungover and gross though tomorrow. I, I love, and every weekend I've been awake, I've been drinking and sometimes it's nice to just not drink and wake up sober and refreshed and clear headed and nice and your day is set, you know, and sometimes when you're drinking all the time, you wake up and you're like, oh, yeah, something is just missing, like some kind of serotonin level or whatnot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just having a few tonight because um, Sarah wanted me to go out or meet her at go to her friend's house but I don't know I just it's she's an hour away and I'm kind of like you know um, <laughs> so I'm going to just edit my videos of this weekend together I'm so weird I'm sorry I gotta apologize I gotta apologize for being so weird right Anyways, yeah, so Mike, like, I don't know what's going on with Tim, and I'm, like, trying to, like, find somebody, you know, date or whatever. I haven't really dated in a while. I mean, you know, I was, like, being, feeling, like, really attracted to that guy, and I, he was gone, though. Like, he went on a trip, like, somewhere, so he's not gonna be back until Wednesday, but I didn't see him, and it's, like, okay, you know, he's cute, yeah, but, like, whatever, he's just, you know whatever <laughs> oh somebody just snapchatted me people trying to message me and it's annoying like whatever um i need another beer just a minute yeah beer is definitely so gross and heavy especially in the summertime i have one like really long couple long bangs beer is like so heavy um oh i just like got rid of garbage and i'm still open in the fridge and it smells like leftover like pasta and i really gotta clean that fridge because i don't when I smell that all night and I have a new candle, like I have to light up that candle because I don't, yeah, I'm going to light the candle up. Hi, I'm back. So I have my cigarettes, so stick around because I will light one of these, but I'm also going to light my, my candle, which I just bought at Target when I went there to pick up my thyroid pills. Ooh, this is a clearance. It's called Blooming Aura and it was a clearance item for $3.50. So I'm gonna light that. 
and I'm going to let it sit here and we're going to talk still because I'm not done talking about what I want to talk about, which I forget now. I will figure it out. I will remember. Okay. So let's pour another freaking beer in here. Like I was saying, beer is so heavy and like, you know, the drink of the summer for the girl, white girls, <laughs> I don't know. Well, a lot of guys order it too, and not just white girls. It was just a meme. Um, is White Claw. Yeah, yeah. White Claw and um, Truly. But those are really good. Like, they're seltzer water. You know, I'm going to do a video where I drink those, where I drink White Claw and I drink Truly. <laughs> because those are actually really good. They're seltzer water, but it's like spiked, you know. And I... I actually feel it. Like, I'll drink, like, two and I'll feel it. So, it's really good. And it keeps you, like, hydrated. It's definitely, like, something to drink besides this stuff. I only get this because it's, like, $12 for a 12-pack. But one of these days, I'm going to do a video um, drinking Truly. And, hey, maybe I'll do a video with Sherry and me and her will, like, smoke cigarettes and chat. But we'll see. Um, excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a total cringe, like totally cringe. I definitely do a t t TMI. I feel like I should put lipstick on. Maybe I should. Uh, actually, I have lipstick on right here. It's um, Urban Decay. And it's called 1993 because it's like a grungy look. So let me put some of this on. Now I'm going to light a cigarette. <sighs> yeah, I haven't really sat down. So I kind of am happy that that today I can just like hang out by myself. Somebody just messaged me in all caps. Have a good night. Okay. X. So yeah, I just want to show like I, I really sometimes when you're walk, going around in the sun, like drinking in the sun, going and hanging out and talking to people and stuff, you need a break from it. Like you do. At least I do. I like to just chill at home sometimes, you know? So, yeah, the thing about Mike is he just called me and he's like this. He wants to take me out to dinner tomorrow. Right? And he wants to talk about our relationship. I'm like, Mike, I'm trying to move on. Like, I'm trying to meet guys and, like, you know, try to move on. Because just, like, hooking up with that guy that, like, it's just that feeling of, like, meeting someone. That, like, nothing's going to happen with him, and I don't expect that. But just having those feelings, like, just knowing that you could still find someone really super hot. I mean, that's, that's like, it's nice, you know? And it's nice to, to meet somebody who likes to do the same things as you. And, like, this doesn't really happen with me and Mike, and, like, he doesn't want to lose me. He doesn't. He's trying to hold on to me. He's trying to keep me around and he's been doing that for years and he I can't ever meet anyone because he's just always just in my life, which you know. Sorry, Marble, I'm so good cigarette, I know. But yeah, like Mike doesn't want to lose me. You know? And I'm so used to him as well. So he don't wanna lose me or you and I'm used to him. I was trying to rhyme but it didn't work out. And I'm like, like, what the hell, you know? It's just it's really weird. And what does he want? Like, what does he want? Because he knows that I look good and he knows that I can go out and, you know, he knows. And he might, he doesn't have enough confidence in himself to try to go out and meet. And it's not that he, I think he's attractive. I mean, I've been with him. Like, he's done, I mean, you know, maybe he isn't, whatever, you know. But he just has to be more confident in himself. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't know what's going on. Mike wants to talk about our relationship. Uh, I just want to like kind of date maybe. I mean, even though I don't really meet anybody. Um, a lot of times when I go out and like we meet other, we hang out with other women, 
they always start talking about their kids and stuff and they ask me if, like if I don't if I have any kids and stuff and I really don't have any kids right now so I will t this is what happened like I've had miscarriages because I was pregnant like three years ago and I had a miscarriage um then I was just went on birth control after that so I've been on birth control for like three years I just got off of it because I thought I was me and Mike were getting married and I'd like to have a kid you know I've been off it since November and I don't know but now I'm like but is Mike really if I were to get pregnant it would definitely be my Mike I guess but my parents would not approve of that they want me to be married and I don't want to be like I'd like to be married myself I don't know. It's so weird. My cousin Mary, I told you that last time. Yeah, she's getting married. And she was going to be my uh, bridesmaid. I don't know. I just want to meet someone I'm happy with. And who we just vibe with and all that stuff. It's really hard to meet somebody. It is. Um... But anyways, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, yeah, this, I don't know. I feel like I wanted to talk about other things, but I forget. I forget right now what I want to talk about. Um, I don't know. I had topics. Like, I always feel like, I okay, I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about that. You know, but then I just kind of like smoke a cigarette and a cigarette makes me forget everything. Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't want people to see me all hunched over. You know, like Bookie's out there on her scooter. And I'm like this, smoking a cigarette and drinking. Like a total weirdo. Like, I go to the liquor store up the road and I feel like, yeah, I'm getting another beer. I spend so much money on beer. My neighbor has that shop where he doesn't even crave alcohol. And he hasn't drank. And good for him since June. <coughs> I commend him, right? Um. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. Oof. It's too pukey, like beer. I feel like, I feel like I'm just gonna be like, ugh, I don't want to drink. I don't know why I am, to be quite honest. I really don't know why I am. Sorry. You can tell me off. Well, no, we were drinking together. Do you have your drink? Good. So. Yeah, so those are concerns that I have in my head. Um... Oh, yeah, this is what I wanted to talk about. So, Saturday night, like, me and... I had free tickets to see a concert at the the club that we go to, which is... Should I say it? It's in Easton. It's called One Center Square, and they have a lot of, like, bands and acts, you know, going on there. And I was wanted to go and get ready and, like, look nice and do my makeup all hot and look good and meet up with Sherry. But Mike came over, and he went to see a movie, and I'm like we really have to see a movie today can we wait until tomorrow but I was like all right let's go see the 430 show and I thought it would be like two less than two hours and I thought that we would get out in time for me to you know go out and meet Sherry well the movie that I did, did want to see was the once upon a time in Hollywood that Quentin Tarantino movie so we went to see it and we're watching it and it was kind of weird like the dialogue was just is Quentin Tarantino dialogue and I'm just kind of like, I, at first I was like, yeah, Tarantino film. like, But then I was kind of like, mm, okay, what's going on here? And it's fabricated. It was based, loosely based off of um, um, the Manson, which I'm, I like. I really like all the Charles Manson type things and like the, you know, his little cult. <laughs> like, that's interesting to me. Um, it was based on that. And Sharon Tate was in it, but she was very flighty and did like, almost like not even a person like 
just very like always dancing that's all she did was dance it was just really weird you know it's very he was trying to bring a camp to it and leonardo dicaprio is in it you know play and brad pitt was like i mean it was a pretty interesting movie i guess but also kind of like boring and it was like three hours long i was like okay i was getting pressure i was starting to be like okay i'm gonna go leave and so i get ready so i can go out because it's a beautiful night out and i wanted to be outside i didn't really want to be inside in a movie you know So I'm like getting antsy and I was getting like, like, um, impatient and I started to want to leave and I was like getting all upset. I'm like, I checked the time. I'm like three hours. This movie is, it was two hours and 45 minutes. I'm like, this is a long movie. I really was like contemplating leaving. Yeah. Cause I was just like, Oh my God, this movie's so long, you know? But the ending, I really did like it. <laughs> it was, I'm not gonna tell what happened, but the ending was actually interesting, but it was a long movie. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was a really long movie. But then I went and, cause Sherry was, Sherry was out. She was like messaging me and saying, she was like, hey, what's going on? Is the movie over? <laughs> so finally I did go down and she was there. It would have been kind of boring it's just to be out because I can't I don't like to start drinking early in the day because I get tired because the sun's baking and you're like you know you get tired um but she can do it so I met her and we were hanging out and stuff and like Mike just dropped me off and it was fun you know and I met this other we met somebody else we always meet people when we go out right and I have some of that footage I'm gonna edit it and all that <sighs> so anyways I got kind of like a late start then, um, Mike, I Ubered to Mike, and Mike, I just slept at Mike's house. And then, um, and then, uh, today, this, um, well, last night, we went, I went out too, I went back to Easton, and this guy that we know is a tattoo artist, really good, like, around here, um, he's a really good tattoo artist. Oh, God, sorry. I don't know. Oh, gosh. I'm just like trying to drink this beer, but I'm really not feeling it. So we went out last night and we had drinking and we had some wings and whatnot. <laughs> we had like wings. But then I had to wake up super early because my friend Scotty invited me to. She wanted me to go to her ultrasound because I'm doing her gender reveal party. So, um, so I had to wake up at six in the morning because I had to be at her house at seven. So I woke up early. I'm like, oh my God, damn it. I want to like sleep, you know, but I said, yeah, I'll go. I wasn't, I didn't really drink too much last night, so I was okay. So we went to, um, go see the ultrasound and it was like a really long, it was like over an hour because <laughs> we were, me and her friend, Danny, Danny was there and we were going to find out the gender, but she isn't, or her boyfriend so when we got to her house everybody was going it was me scotty danielle her boyfriend and her dad so it was five of us and we all like we had breakfast we had um taco bell breakfast because scotty loves taco bell then we um went over to to the place where she did the ultrasound and the only ones that found out was me and danielle so we're the only ones that know what the gender is i thought it was going to be a boy for the longest time but when she was doing the ultrasound I, I didn't, I, I mean, I can't read ultrasounds. You know, you can see the little profile on the face, but I was like, you know what, that's a girl. It's a girl. Like, I, I knew, like, looking at the ultrasound, it was a girl. So, yeah, it is a girl. So she's having a girl, and they think it's a boy. They still think it's a boy. Because I felt like it was a boy, and she they did too. And, like, her boyfriend really wants a boy. <laughs> but it's going to be a sweet little girl. So I'm happy for her. And then after that, she wanted to get milkshakes. Like, in this place called DuPont, Pennsylvania, and that was like an hour away. And I'm like, I'm so tired. I just wanted to go home and sleep, you know? But I was like, yeah, I guess. I'm like, eee. and I, I really didn't want to go an hour away just to get a milkshake. So when we checked to get the directions, it said that, it said that the place was closed on Monday. So I was secretly happy. So we ended up going to Friendly's and had some ice cream there. 
you know, but I was like, I was super tired and finally I came home and I did sleep. I took a, like a nice little long nap, I guess, but I'm still tired. Like I'm still tired and stuff, you know? Um, so, and I bought like, I have to buy all this stuff for her party. I don't have a lot of money either. And it, like, I have to buy all these things for her. And I already bought her cards, guessing cards, you know, for the, I have to get another game and like, and also I, I didn't, I forgot to take off work because I, I forgot what day the party was and they scheduled me. So I'm going to have to leave work early, you know, but I'm going to have to use my protected p p time off because I can't like get a point, you know, I, like, we can only miss like five days, but we could use our protected time off, but I don't want to be calling off like that. And then I had to get her something for her baby shower. So there's like a lot that I'm doing for her. And then she needed chairs. So I asked my cousin. And the thing is, she can't find anyone to pick up the chairs. And it's like, I can't, you know, I can't do that myself. I can't like find somebody to go and get, pick up these chairs. Like she, they were free because my cousin's husband is a fireman and he can get chairs for free. But, you know, you need somebody to pick them all up, right? So, I don't know, right? <sighs> yeah, that's really pukey. I'm actually tired, but I wanna edit these videos, so I'm gonna do that. And it looks like it's 26 minutes. But, um, yeah, like, so I did that and I was kinda like, uh, like it, it, I was like tired all day because of waking up early. And I didn't do anything. Well, I did. I went and got stuff done. I went to Target. Like, I had to get some errands done and whatever. <sighs> and then Sarah um, called me and she wanted me to go drive an hour away to go hang out with her at this house. I was going to, but obviously I'm not. Sometimes you need to, like, just relax and take it easy, especially when we're going running around all the time. Actually, I want to see that, watch that movie. Um... It's on Amazon Prime. It's a Seth Green movie. So I think I'm going to watch that. But I do have to edit videos and all that. And yeah. Like I was saying, like, there's a contest. And like I tagged my friend, Sherry. I said, yo, we could, we could go, like, pick us to win this trip to Thailand. Because I always wanted to go to Thailand. And it would just be cool if we went, you know, we're cool, everything we do, we have fun together, we're just like chill, you know, and cool, so like, pick us. Um, <laughs> if you're watching, if you are, wow. I'm so sick of my bangs. Yeah, for sure, I, I thought I was gonna be more energetic, but I'm really not. I'm like, just tired and like, stupid, you know. I'm just so weird. I am very weird. <sighs> Ew. But yeah. I'm tired. Anyways, I'm gonna cut the. I'm gonna stop filming because I'm like. I'm t Like, I just want to chill. And talking takes a lot of energy out of you. Thanks for watching those. It's almost a half an hour. So I'm going to stop this and just um, upload it. So talk to y'all later. Um, yeah. Bye. Have a good night. Cheers. Oh, God. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.